Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Hashtag you can follow, hashtag what is in our stand today. Today we have a Chinelli Superstar and this bike came in because there were some brake noises here and there and um, the lever was going all the way to the bar. So a lot of times people think that because the lever is going all the way to the bar, we need to do a brake bleed. But oftentimes what it is, is your brake pads are severely worn. And at some point, as the pistons keep pushing out, they get to a point where they've pushed out so far, the pads are worn so thin that the lever is going all the way to the bar. That was the case here. So what we did was we replaced the front pads and the rear pads, but in the process of replacing the rear pads, as I was pushing the pistons back in, the brake shifter lever started to leak hydraulic fluid. In, their, in uh, SRAM's case, it's dot fluid. And so I thought that was a bit odd and the funny thing is that this is now the second um, hydraulic brake system that I've pushed in the pistons and the brake lever has started to leak. Two different brands. Last one was a Shimano one and I'll put the link down below. And I, I make the, the question of, well, should you be using a brake funnel when installing brake pads. And this is what the Shimano tech rep said. When I called SRAM on this one, they said, no, it shouldn't be a problem. There's enough room and space inside the system to accommodate you pushing the pistons back in. But I found it odd. And um, the customer tells me this bike is not nearly a year old. So it's not really time for any seals to fail. So that's where we are today. We ordered the parts and what we're going to replace is the reservoir and the reservoir cover. There's like a, a, a rubber bladder cover and uh, the hard plastic cover. So that's what we're going to replace today. So let me get a little closer to the camera and let me show you what we have. So we have a T10 park tool and it's a very small one so make sure you get the right size what i mean by that is sometimes i see people using a standard allen wrench and it should be a torx okay this is going to be the cover that we're replacing let me move that so you can see that better sorry all right and then this is the the bladder okay and let's see if that'll focus a little bit better for you. Now there's some grooves here and so you can go back to your old puzzle days and that'll fit on there. And these ridges will go in, these ridges here will go in these grooves here, all right? And whenever you're working on any of the internals of the system, you should have this dot grease. It's a grease that is compatible with dot fluid, and you should have that. This one is branded Avid, but I'm, I bet you can get others, all right? There's that. And just a little bit of trivia for you. Here is the part number that you need for this bladder kit on this SRAM RED system. Cable, not DI2, I'm sorry, access. But see this number here, 21. So that stands for the 20, 2021 and week 41. So let's just do some quick math and let's just say four weeks per month. So sometime in October of 2021, this was manufactured. Okay, 
So let's get started on the job. First thing we're going to do is remove the old cover. And uh, you might also notice I have a handlebar minder and that really helps when you're doing very precise little work like this, these really, really small screws, you don't want to have the handlebar swinging as you're trying to work on these tiny little screws. So we're going to remove these four screws and then I will grab the camera and show you what the internals look like and then we'll put everything back together. Now what I should have done is loosen this before starting to film, but I uh, didn't realize it was gonna take this long. But I guess you get to see it in real time. You get to see how long it actually takes to do it. Now it's important that you use dot fluid with dot fluid systems, which is typically SRAM, and you use mineral oil with Shimano systems because those two fluid systems are not compatible. You can't put one into the other. Um, if you contaminate the system, sometimes you can flush everything out. At least that's what SRAM says. You can flush everything out. So this guy here is just being a little bit stubborn because it's completely released. And you're starting to see some fluid coming out. There it is. All right. Now there's a banjo fitting inside here. All right. So let me show you a close up of what this looks like. There's the cover. And there's the bladder system, okay? So all we're going to do now is take a little bit of this grease. And this will last you a very long time. So maybe if you are part of a group of, of uh, people that do some home mechanics, maybe just one of you buys this and the others uh, either just chip in or buy that person a uh, a, uh, <laughs> a, six, a six pack or whatever their preferred alcoholic beverages. Or if you don't drink, that's great too. I don't drink much, just on special occasions. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. We're just putting a little bit of grease on that. And now... We're just going to put this on here. You got to make sure that those grooves in this rubber portion are in there nice and snug. Now, if you notice on the old one, it looks different, right? But that's just because this as the system is working, it draws and it's a closed system. So there's no air in the system. So it pulls on this and will create a seal in the system, uh, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. Okay, so that's on there, and it's sitting very nicely in the grooves. Now what I'm going to do is just bring the camera closer so you can see what we're, what we've uncovered. So this is where that bladder is going to go, or the bladder cover, I should say. So right here, 
okay? In this hole here. Here's your banjo fitting. So this is the hydraulic line that is now exiting this shifter body, hydraulic reservoir area, and going out towards the back of the bike because this is a rear brake system. And so right inside here, once we change this cover, and I'm going to do that off camera because it's really just putting four, four screws back in. That's all that's going to be. You will then do a brake bleed because now you need to fill this system with fluid again and just go through the whole brake bleed process. Okay, so that's all for today. I just wanted to show you